Hey guys, we're here at Whole Foods Market. Let's shop with me at Whole Foods. Let's go. The seven Sundays cereal. This is a green face cereal. Eight ninety nine is so high. Costco sell this cheap. Costco definitely has better deals. But if you have a different, if you want a different flavor, you probably need to go to Whole Foods. So this one is really good. Um, ingredients for cereal item. It only has five grams of added, added sugar. It's still a lot of sugar, but it's still better than the other ones. The ingredients are pretty good. It has sunflower protein, it has syrup, coconut oil. So there's no junk ingredients. Still has sugar in there, but it's like better ingredients, cleaner ingredients. A ninety nine is really high for so cereal items. The Costco only has the chocolate flavor. So if you want the real berry flavor, come to Whole Foods. This is the flavor that's sold at Costco, the real cocoa flavor, but. We also have the maple sea salt flavor here and the blueberry flavor here. So if you want this flavor, go to Costco. But if you want other flavors, you need to go to Whole Foods. This croissant toast is so yummy. I like this brand um, for San Francisco. How much is this? Oh, it's hard to shop at Whole Foods because you have to pay attention to the price. Because the price may surprise is surprisingly high. So this one has a real butter in there. There's also a vegan version of this. But I'm gonna grab one to my for my husband. He really likes these toast. Ingredients is not extremely clean, but pretty clean. So grab myself one of those. Grass fed A2 milk. This is the best. And it has 2%. My husband doesn't like whole milk, so I always buy 2%, but whole milk is a little bit better for slow down the sugar absorption. So we're gonna grab this one. It's $5.79. I love the grass-fed milk. And this is A2 milk. A2 protein is easier for human to digest compared to A1 protein. It has these like bars, like little cookie bars. $3.50. The oil blend, the natural oil blend is palm fruit, canola, sunflower, and olive. So I was like, why do they need that? Why don't they just coconut oil and olive oil? Even though it's expeller press, it's better processing, it's still a lot of omega-6. You want to eat more omega-3 fatty acid. This part is 225 calories, like 10 grams of added sugar. Even though it has 5 grams of pro uh, five grams of fiber, it's like low protein, only 4.5 grams of protein. Yeah, do not recommend. So Whole Foods has these blend milk butter. It's at 6.49, so they have unsalted and salted. Yeah, just 640 is pretty high, but when I was looking at the package, it says cashew and coconut oil spread. I was like, that's so good. But then I look at the ingredients, guess what? Organic sunflower oil. What? Yeah, you probably don't need that. Even though the first ingredient is organic coconut oil, which is great, and cashew milk, it do, they do add a sunflower oil in there. I, they don't need to add that. They just need the coconut oil. It's not like you can't eat sunflower oil, it's just not the best quality of the oil even though it's organic. So I wish they didn't put that. I wish it's just a cashew and coconut oil. There's also this one. It's a vegan butter. Non-GMO vegan. Has a buttery taste. This one is $5.69. Still pretty expensive. Look, vegetable oil blend, palm soybean, canola, extra virgin olive oil. Super high in omega-6 and it's highly processed not healthy and super expensive too so between this one and this one i'll go for this one even though it's not super clean at least the majority of the oil is coconut oil this one is better than the earth balance um, even though it's not clean it's still way better for the ingredients if you're vegan go for this one i love this one so i used to buy this from costco but our costco no longer carries this but apparently whole foods does it's a 4.49 here but at Costco, I think it's equivalent of $3 per pack. This is the Hearts of Palm noodle thing. So the Hearts of Palm is high in fiber and very low in carbs. This is a great meal replacement. So this whole pack has three servings, only 60 calories. It's mainly just fiber. It has the lasagna sheets, it has linguine. You can make a pasta with it. So highly recommend a $4.49. If you're looking to eat like keto or low carb diet, this is a really healthy replacement for your pasta noodles. Highly recommend. So if you're looking for a high protein pasta options, this is the brand from the brand Tolerant Organic Red Lentil Rotini. They also have the green lentil one. It's $4.79. So this item, look, it's not low in carbs, but it's super high in fiber and super high in protein. So this is a great way to sneak in a little bit of protein and fiber into your pasta. It's still lower in carbs compared to like the other like regular car regular pasta. So if you're interested, um, you can get the red or green lentil ones. 
I actually haven't tried the red lentil one, so let me try this one. $4.79. It has a very nice chewy texture. I love that. Gradients really clean, just organic red lentil flour. Love that. Benza pasta is also carried at Costco. I think this one is like super high in protein and fiber too. And I, I believe this is chickpea. Yeah, but this one has pea starch, tapioca, and zamzam gong. So this one is not as clean as this one. I try not to eat too much of the zamzam gong because it's still a, like a stabilizer. It's bad for microbiome, for your gut health. But if you just eat a little bit, that's fine. If you eat everything you eat has this, that's when the problem arrives. So Brenza is not bad at all, don't take me wrong, but I found a better replacement, but this one is more expensive. The Brenza is only $3.49. Real sauce is the, my favorite sauce. It's $8 here. You can also get it from Costco. So the reason why I like real sauce is because they don't add sugar in most of their flavors and they use olive oil and they peel their tomatoes. Not every single company peel their tomatoes. It makes a difference. Um, so love that real sauce, I highly recommend. So I actually reviewed a lot of food items from Heaven's Natural Foods and now you can buy their sauce. They have Korean barbecue sauce, they have the teriyaki sauce. Their sauce is pretty clean, it's soy free. And take a, a look, it's like coconut sugar. It's soy free because they use coconut aminos. Shiitake mushroom, pretty good ingredients, monk fruit extract, only one gram of added sugar. So this is way better teriyaki sauce compared to regular teriyaki sauce because most of the teriyaki sauce has so much sugar. This only has three grams of sugar, so 535, I will grab one of those. This is really good. They also have the Korean barbecue flavor, depending on which one you wanna go for, but I'm gonna go for this one. It's like super low in sugar. Most of the teriyaki sauce has so much sugar. Also, I really like it, the Japanese barbecue sauce. I buy this one from Costco for cheaper price, but I feel like if you don't need a Costco pack all the time, it's smaller with like similar price, but it's, it has different varieties. This is the original, this is the miso, this is the yuzu, and this is the gluten-free, and this is hot and spicy. I really like this sauce. This one has more added sugar than Kama's Natural Foods, but it has really good ingredients. Nam GMO soy sauce, just like things that you would put in the Japanese barbecue sauce. Hot and spicy. I'm gonna buy this one. $9 is so expensive, but I think Brandon will like it. We'll put it in, in our chicken. I love spicy food. I know it's super expensive, but cost, our Costco only sells the original, um, but I'm gonna get the hot and spicy to marinate our chicken. Love that. Highly recommend. This is one of the better sauce and better tasting sauce as well. Brandon really likes chicken thighs and this is their 100% air chill bowl with skinless chicken thighs. So they didn't put the price here, but I hope that it's in here. Where's the price? Why don't they hide? Why do they hide the price? But Trader Joe's used to have the air chill chicken, but now they don't. Um, the regular chicken is chilled with water, but this one is air chilled. It tastes better. It's slightly healthier, I guess, but it tastes way better. So I'm going to grab this one and Brenda can use the sauce for this one. Um, where's the price? I don't know, but even if it's expensive, I've only shop at Whole Foods every three months. So I'm going to grab a pack. If you're looking for to eat rice and beans, really recommend the Siente beans. Um, it's made with avocado oil, $3.49. They also have the refried beans, vegan. So this one, it's with, made with avocado oil, really clean ingredients, $3.49, and it tastes really good. My husband really likes this one, actually. I think this one is the one he likes. They also have the refried version of this. So there's this Rebel protein shake. So this Rebel protein drink is $5. And this one is the strawberry cream flavor. Have, actually have really good flavor. It says it's plant powered. As coconut milk and pea protein. Pea protein is not the highest quality protein, but most people do not have allergies to pea protein. Um, so ingredients is not too bad. 16 grams of protein, 4 grams of added sugar. Ingredients is not completely clean, but it's not too bad. And 9 grams of total sugar. So it's still a super high sugar item, um, but most of the sugar came from the strawberry puree. I wish they didn't put 4 grams of added sugar. Five dollars. This one is actually on sale. The hazelnut chocolate from the same brand with Prime is two sixty nine. Wow, that's a really good original price. Five dollars right now, half of the price. So I'm actually get this one to try. Three grams of added sugar, only four grams of total sugar. This one is way better, and the saturated fat is from the coconut milk. Similar ingredients. It has organic reishi mushroom extract. Stevia, this is not too bad at all. For $2.69, I'm gonna grab extra. I like hazelnut chocolate. 
on sale two sixty nine. I just tried this one at home. It actually tastes so good. It has a very nice chocolate hazelnut flavor, mainly chocolate, and it's not sweet at all. It's like four grams of total sugar per bottle. It's a little bit sweet because you know the chocolate is like naturally sweet. It's naturally sweet and a little bit bitter from the chocolate. It tastes very cocoa-y. It actually tastes so good. Success. So this matcha latte is also on sale for $2.69. Original price is $5. It says it's for focus. 8 grams of added sugar, but this one has, does not have protein. We're getting matcha green tea. Interesting. This one has a little bit too, too much sugar. 9 grams of added sugar is a lot. I might just put it back, but it's also on sale if you like matcha drinks. The dark chocolate protein elixir is on sale $2.69. This one has 7 grams of added sugar, 8 grams of total sugar, but has 9 grams of fiber. That's pretty good. It's a high fiber item. So this is the ingredients. It has ashwagandha, ashwagandha mushroom extract, which is really good for health. 69 is not a bad price. It's on sale. Grab one of those. We also have these protein drinks at 4.49. It's a little bit high. I'll wait for them to go on sale. It has different flavors. of cocoa cereal, banana cream, and coconut almond flavor. It's non-GMO. So this one has 60 grams of sugar. This one has 4 grams of sugar. 7 grams of fiber is pretty good. So this one is actually higher quality of protein because it's a combination of brown rice protein, pea protein, chickpea protein. So if you eat plant-based protein, make sure you eat a combination of them to get all of the amino acids. So it's not just about the protein number, it's also the amino acids. So we also have fiber, long fruit extract. It does have like a little bit gum a stabilizer. 18 grams of pro. I'll wait for it on sale. The price is a little bit high. I feel like the probiotic refresher from Kavita. This is the lemon cayenne flavor sparkling drinks. It's on sale. Two for $4.50. That was a tart cherry flavor and lime. It is only gram one gram of added sugar, three grams of sugar in total. Ingredients not too bad if you love to drink it. I don't know if it actually helps probiotics, but you know, it's gonna taste good. I think all of them are on sale. Tangerine, two for four fifty. so buy two of them. They also have the Aura Collagen Tea. They have different flavors. There's a mango passion fruit. Three thirty nine dollars is not too expensive for whole food pricing. Um, it only has 2 grams of shoto sugar and 4 grams of erythritol. Erythritol is not bad for you unless you overconsume it. It's still a natural sweetener that's like a non-calorie sweetener. But if you overeat erythritol, it's not super good for your gut health. So drink, don't drink this every single day. Um, but 4 grams is not too much. So it has stevia and the erythritol. Ingredients not too bad. It has 15 grams of collagen protein. 70 calories per bottle. That's pretty good. We'll try one of these. Yay, Lesser Evil is on sale. Original price $3.55. Now, now $2.60. This one original price um, $5. Right now $3.60, $3.68. So this one is the pink salt, pink salt pulps. This is the cheese pulps. A little bit more expensive, but those ones are really, really, really good ingredients compared to the other pulps. Again, still not healthy, but it's way better. Let me show you the ingredients. So we have coconut oil instead of like other highly processed oil. And then coconut flour. So this is pretty good ingredients and it's on sale. I'm so happy. Sometimes I just come here just for these chips. So we're going to grab a lot of these. They used to have like a flaming hot flavor, but now they have the pink salt in this one. Or pink salt is even cheaper. We'll grab some bags of these. They also have the cheddar puff balls, original dollar, six dollars right now for 49. With avocado oil too. That's different flavor. They have the pizza flavor. Brandon will like this one. Brandon wants me to buy snacks. And then this is the cheddar. We'll get a pizza flavor. The brand also sells popcorn. It's currently on sale. Three original price four dollars. Right now three dollars. You can get this variety from Costco for way cheaper. But it also has different variety. It has like white cheddar flavor, Homer's blend. So this one, again, healthier ingredients. If you like snacks like me, grab those ones. If you love potato chips, this one is on sale. The Boulder Canyon, regular price $6.29. Right now is $4.99 for the Prime members. Party size with avocado oil from the Boulder Canyon. Okay, take a look. Look, ingredients so clean. Just potatoes, avocado oil, and sea salt. It's still like a junk food item, but way better ingredients. It's on sale, $5. I love the brand Simple Mills. Costco carries some of their products, but not all the variety. Whole Foods had all the variety. 
So I used to buy these one on Co in Costco, but recently my Costco switched to the chocolate brownie flavor. This is so good, and they have other cookies. Five twenty-five for the cookies, four ninety-nine for the sweet thins. But look how good ingredients is. Coconut sugar, coconut oil, like it's not in seed flour blend. Seven grams of added sugar. It's still a sugary item. It's not like you want to indulge on these, but it's actually way healthier ingredients, way better ingredients than other foods. It's a little bit expensive, so that makes you eat less, right? But this is a really good brand. I do recommend if you have a sweet tooth, my cookies from this brand. Similarly, the Siente cookies is really good. Currently on sale, the original price was $5.39. Right now it's $4.31. It's still expensive, $4.31, but I love these Mexican wedding cookies. So like tempted, six grams of added sugar. Ingredients are super, super good. Grain-free flour blend, almond flour and stuff. Coconut sugar, avocado oil, coconut oil, really good ingredients. If you're craving for cookies, go for those ones. Super good. Siente, love that. I heard it's a Texas brand. I'm not sure. Let me know in a comment down below, down below. If you like cookies that are soft and chewy, we have the brand from Emmy's Organic, $6.99. It's like $7. Really good ingredients. Coconut, agave syrup, fair trade cocoa powder, coconut oil, vanilla strip. It's really good. Four grams of added sugar. It's pretty good for like a cookie item. One cookie is 100 calories. So nine servings per container means they're nine cookies. Nine cookies for $7. It's expensive. Clean ingredients. Has all these flavors, vanilla, chocolate chip, dark chocolate, and peanut butter. So by the cookie aisle, we found this snack. It's $6.99, so expensive. $7 for a little bag or four ounces. But look at this, super high quality ingredients. Organic golden berries, organic cacao, unrefined coconut sugar and organic cocoa cocoa powder only three grams of added sugar is not bad it's 10 grams of total sugar but only three grams of added sugar so if you have a sweet tooth this one seems pretty good sounds delicious but seven dollars it's expensive so sad they're pretty much out of the japanese sweet potatoes which is so sad so i actually bought something new i've never tried this before this is the um organic stick purple potato so it's is it of like big like a round thing sweet potato it's like a stick sweet potatoes and it's purple so we're gonna try this out it's 269 just like the same price with other stick potatoes i bought two we're gonna try this out to see if it actually tastes good so our whole foods is actually out of a lot of products and the fresh produce whole foods has these meal to go has chicken kebab korean barbecue meatballs creamy chicken stew Ooh, interesting. Those look so delicious. However, it's like $12, I think. That's pretty high, don't you think? And I think most of the ingredients are actually not too bad. Interested in the Korean barbecue one. It has olive oil in there, liquid cage-free eggs, coconut sugar. The ingredients is actually not bad at all. This is a pretty healthy food. However, pretty high in price, $12. Oh, so good. I'm going to get it at the end. I need lunch. Lesser Evil also make baby baby puffs. So this one is sweet potato ones, and we have the veggie blend. It's actually on sale. Original price three forty nine. Right now two sixty. So it's like snacks for babies. So I have organic cassava flour, avocado oil, coconut oil. So if your kids want snacks, these are great snacks for kids. Um, probably not for like my baby baby, but once he's like a little bit older, these are great snacks. Ooh, here is broccoli spinach bone broth puffs. Original price $5 right now, $4.04. So this one is broccoli and spinach, just this one. It's green free from the brand Serenity Kit. I love the brand Serenity Kids for my babies. So let's take a look at ingredients. It's cassava flour, tapioca starch, um, pea protein, olive oil. And this is dehydrated grass-fed bone broth, broccoli powder, spinach powder. Oh, interesting. Okay, so let me tell you, the tapioca starch is not the best for babies because um, tapioca starch is very hard to digest. However, if they don't put too much in there, this is not too bad. Once your baby's a little bit older, like tapioca starch is not too bad. It's just when they're like baby babies, it's harder when their digestive system is weak. Um, they may not be able to um, digest it. 
or it may irrit irritate their digestive system but once they're older then it's fine okay, for the baby food oh it's on sale two for 650 love that so i really like this one the organic serenity kids um this one is like a puree it's chicken with peas and carrots so this one original price is four dollars and right now it's 650 for two i'm gonna grab a lot of those it has enough a lot of protein ingredients are super clean collagen hydrolyzed grass-fed bovine collagen five grams of protein this is for all ages and this for six months and top all right guys that's it for today's shop with me video i bought so much you may be wondering hey why don't you buy veg vegetables and fruit like the fresh produce um so whole foods to me is not where i go regular grocery shopping at um this is a treat for me i come here for to buy things that i can't find in my regular grocery stores here in texas i go to heb so i just went to heb yesterday bought a bunch of fruit and vegetables and for whole foods i'm mainly here for healthier snacks some better quality meat some baby food and organic stuff and some protein drinks so yeah that's why it seemed like oh i don't actually buy a lot of uh, help the fresh produce because i believe that you can buy fresh produce anywhere like farmer's market that's it for today's video thumbs up and subscribe and i will see you in my next one bye